Hi, welcome back to Informatica tutorial. We will see uh, one more transformation in this class. So, uh, so far I am doing my uh, demonstration with employees uh, source from the HR schema. So, in employees uh, source, I have a table, employees table, I have uh, fields like employee ID, name, email, phone number and department ID. But I don't have a department name because it is a ER model, entity relationship model and it is highly normalized. There is no redundancy here. It is a transactional system data model. So if I want to know what is the department name, I need to take this department ID and join to a department a table uh, here or department flat file or department table basically. So in department table we have DEPT ID and DEPT name. So we need to join to one other table to get this information. So uh, in Informatica how do we do this? So when you join these two and uh, bring all this information and this one into one common place. Uh, I want to bring this into my employees target table. This is in target uh, schema. So in target.employees I want to have all these fields as well as the EPT name. So that is why I uh, let's see how to do this in Informatica which transformation will help us. So I have created a mapping called M employees joiner. I'm going to drag my employees flat file as a source here and I'm going to drag departments uh, table as my another source. So there are two sources here. One is employees and one is department. So since employees is a flat file, I'm going to take employees uh, flat file from target files directory which I generated earlier and then I'm going to copy into the source files directory. So let me come to the database and add a column called DEPT name varcat2 of 30 to the table employees table in the target schema and import my I need to import my employees table again to the target designer since I have added a column so I need to refresh it so I'll say uh, replace here so it will say it already exists so I'll say replace here and then save this so when I save this I can see that there is the EPT name existing here and then I'll come here and drag my target departments uh, which has sorry target employees which has the DEPT name already here and now I have two heterogeneous sources here one is a flat file and one is a table departments is a table so Informatica joiner transformation can join heterogeneous sources so let me create the joiner transformation here JNR underscore EMP DEPT so let me create uh, let me join uh, first drag all the ports from the source qualifier of employees and I need to drag only two ports from the department source qualifier that is department ID and department name so department ID and department name then I need to give a join condition uh, in the first thing I need to do is give a join condition in the joiner transformation so on the left side it is showing me all the ports from the master table the master table is uh, there is a column called M here and M means master so by default Informatica has uh, specified a department table as the master department source as the master so I can change uh, the master table if I like to. If I click on any of these ports, all the 
ports all the uh, other ports from this particular source will also get checked uh, so i can only specify one all the ports from one particular source as a master i cannot specify just one port so uh, what is a general good practice here is specify the source with smaller number of records as the master so here department table has 27 records and employees table has 107 records so let's specify uh, let's leave it the default way uh, it has chosen department as the master uh, source so let's leave it like that uh, so the reason for uh, choosing a smaller table as the driving table is this so basically in joiner transformation you have a a master source and a detail source so how do you select which one is master and which one is detail uh, the general principle is to select the smaller table as the master and bigger one as a uh, detail so suppose this has 10 records and this has 1000 records so what happens is uh, each uh, record so the, here let's say this is a uh, DEPT and this is EMP so the join condition is DEPT dot DEPT ID equal to EMP dot DEPT ID so each uh, record will come uh, it will start with first record here and it will try to find for uh, a match uh, of the, for the DEPT ID department ID of suppose the department ID is uh, of the first record is 10 second record is tw 20 so it will try so it will take the first record and it will try to search how many records have department ID 20 in the detail table suppose there are uh, there are t 10 records uh, in uh, 10 records with department ID equal to uh, 10 so this one record will get joined to 10 records and then uh, the output will be 10 records from the joiner so basically uh, this is a normal join so uh, the number of iterations uh, will be uh, the number of records equal to the number of records in the master table suppose you declare this as a master it has to take each of these thousand records and it has to go and look in the master table uh, other table basically DEPT table suppose if you declare this as a master and this as a detail it has to take each of these records and look in the other table for a match so it has to do this thousand times so that is not a good idea so that is the reason we specify the smaller table as a master table so let's complete the joiner transformation now in information and let's go to the property tab join type is normal join so we have other types of join also which we'll see in the next classes so we have given the condition so everything is fine so let me do an auto link between the joiner to the target and let me uh, connect the so DEPT name is not connected because it's with the department name here the name of the column is department name here so let me connect it manually and save this so this is valid now let me come here and create a workflow for this in the workflow manager so I've created a workflow called WF employees joiner let me create a session here yes employees joiner and I'll choose the mapping M employees joiner and so let me put all the standard properties right backward compatible log file and here let me select from HR and target config object we will do save session logs for five runs and stop on errors is one and what is the source file directory the source file directory is $pm source file directory that is fine and the name of the source file is ffemployees1.out and let me put it here and department source table uh, is coming from dollar source and for the employees target table let me put normal mode and then give, let's give this as dollar target and let's truncate the target table and load so that we have only the currently loaded uh, records loaded with the current uh, session only and let me run this now start task and let's see the progress here so we have uh, 
27 records coming in from department and 107 records from em uh, employees flat file uh, but the result looks like only 11 records so let me see looks like there is something wrong so join condition basically should be department id equal to department id of the detail table so i forgot to change this so let me correct this and then uh, refresh the mapping once and then save this and run this once more so let's see how many records will come out of this so we got 106 records so we didn't get all 107 because it's an inner join and only 106 records for 106 records department id is matching in both the tables so let's see what is that one record which is missing select emp employee id from hr dot employees minus select employee id from employees so let's see what is this record and it is 178 so we'll see select star from hr dot employees where employee id equal to 178 so the department id is null for this uh, employee id that's why it didn't match with anything in the department table so that's why it didn't come in the target so let's see now how the employees table looks like in the target schema we want to see the department name in this table yeah we got the department name basically with the joiner transformation so we will see more uh, options in joiner transformation in the next class thank you